Howdy duty. Today, special day. I think I'm gonna upgrade the tow rig. And if you're looking at the thumbnail, then you got an idea what I'm getting. Hopefully it works out today. Uh, got a got a jaunt to get there. And I'm gonna hop in the car with my buddy. I can't take my truck, because this is a company vehicle. Prime example of why I need something that I can take a little more long distance. But uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Once we pick it up and bring it back, I'll go through a little more detail of of what it is, what we're getting ourselves into, future projects coming up with it. But the uh, main idea with this whole thing is to have a reliable vehicle. So hopefully the trip's gonna be worth it. I think uh, the price that I'm getting it for, I'm willing to drive a little bit. So let's hit the road westbound and down. I'll take you through it when we get there. <laughs> My trusty steed. <laughs> that you don't know ill-advised but it? gonna do it anyway yeah <laughs> Why would they say that? you don't want to get bit oh yeah true wish they do be doing that true. well as you can tell by my mossy oak seat covers actually i think they're browning they're coming off but anyway uh we got the truck runs drives nice no better way to test it out than jamming her on the interstate, so I'm not gonna sit here and talk on my phone. We're gonna get moving. Uh, we will be making a pit stop though, I'll update you when we get there. street here we're gonna find a place to grab my
Lover's Day. This is where I lived my freshman year in the exact spot where there's a picture in the paper, the BG paper, whatever that was called, uh, with my sister and myself carrying in my stuff. That was my freshman year dorm. Hands down the nicest place that I lived while I was going to school here. If you uh, if you enrolled early enough when um, you were going into your freshman year, which I didn't go to any college tours or anything, if you enrolled early enough, you were able to get into whatever dorm you wanted to, and that was a brand new one. It was the first year, second year it was open when I was there. So, of course, I elected to go there. What are these things? It's like an automated snack machine. Library. I spent some time there, but it was only to study for finals with girls that I thought I had a chance with, but that was about it. What? <laughs> oh, what a loser! Wow. Wow. And I was just talking to my buddy. It's like we're driving through here, and there's like, there's so much that's the same, but there's just so much that's different. We were thinking about like, oh, well, what were you doing with all of our tuition money? Because it doesn't seem like any of it was going to education. It was all going to site improvements, which is fine, I guess. Regardless, I'm driving past uh, the old golf course that used to be. It's no longer there since torn down for a new building. But uh, my friend that I'm with, we used to golf there every every week that's pretty much where I learned how to golf taught myself still a hobby that I enjoy today so anyway here we go let's let's get on to what's called frickers <laughs> that I didn't introduce him on this trip, but uh, I'll insert a picture here. Also, thank you to my other buddy, J-Rod, who I've brought up on this channel before. I wasn't expecting him to be here, but I just pulled in at my house. He looks like he's still here taking care of my dog for me. 
I will catch you all up in the morning, but successful, successful trip. Happy to be home. So similar yet so different. So behind me are now my two tow rigs, but this one is meant to replace this one. If you aren't familiar with the channel, this is my main means of, of towing. It is a 1986 F350 with the 6.9 IDI diesel in it, made by International Harvester. Uh, it does have a Banks Turbo on it. I love that truck and I will never get rid of it. So don't worry if you're a fan of this here truck or if you wanna buy it, it's just never gonna happen. That I love that truck, but I don't wanna rely on it as a um, reliable tow vehicle. Especially being, I've, I've hauled a lot of things behind that truck and the tough part is it's just, you know, it's the technology's outdated, it's old, it's tired. I can only go, if I'm hauling a, a decent sized car behind it, I can only go 50 on the highway. Uh, that Mercury Turnpike Cruiser, I trailered home behind the F-350 and I think that was like a three hour road trip uh, down Southern Ohio. Uh, and it did just fine, it was just slow and you know, it's just a little nerve wracking. You don't want to break down at night on the side of the road. Needless to say, that's the reason why I picked this old girl up here. And I say old because it is still pretty dated, but here's why. Let's take a little walk around. This is a 2003 Dodge Ram 2500. It's got the 5.9 Cummins in it. Uh, bigger turbo supposedly uh, straight piped other than that it's pretty much stock uh, oh, a smarty tuner on it which I think is you know pretty pretty standard for anybody that's gonna do anything to these old 5.9 common rails I have zero experience with any diesel engines really outside of Power Strokes and Internationals which are you know kind of one and the same uh, I've always been a Ford guy, I still am, however, for this specific vehicle, sorry it's pretty windy, let me set up here behind the trucks. Anyway, for this specific truck, my full attention was on not necessarily what I want in looks with a truck and nostalgia, but solely based on reliability, ease of maintenance towing capabilities, the whole nine. I was really looking for a truck that was just going to be a good, solid workhorse for me, and this was the answer. And so far, I haven't towed anything with it, but so far, just, you know, ticks all my boxes. That 5.9 Cummins is a inline six rather than a V8, which is what these old 6.9s were. Engine bay is just a lot less cluttered. I. I'm really looking forward to if I have to, when I have to work on this thing. I don't have to be crammed for space everywhere that I'm turning a wrench. So that's going to be a huge plus. The following behind these Cummins engines is just, you know, the guys that eat, sleep, and breathe these things, they eat, sleep, and breathe them. They can't stop talking about them. And I can see why. I can understand it. Ford has its quirks. You know, there, there aren't a lot of great things about 
Ford engines there, but I, I'm a fan, you know, so I'm not going to bash them. It's just that, you know, the, the Cummins engines are just better. So. This guy stinks! Anyway, this particular truck, it's from Indiana. I bought it off of a kid. I say kid, he was 24, he said. That, uh, you know, the part of Indiana that I was in, I kind of had a sneaky suspicion that uh, you know, it's heavily populated with Amish folk which I know quite a few Amish people. So I, I asked him, I said, you know, what's the story? You, you broken, you English, you know, what's, what's the deal? He said, yeah, at 17, I broke off from the church. I asked him, you know, what's the, what's the reason for selling? And he said that he's actually rejoining the church. And in order to do that, you can't drive. So uh, kudos to him for, you know, finding the Lord. Turn around and tell those people, I am delivered. However, for my purposes, I, I fell into a, a pretty good deal here. Again, Indiana truck, however you look underneath it and you look at the paint, there's a lot of signs. Cab corners are still there. There's a lot of signs that this was actually, there are a lot of signs that this was actually a Southern truck. I wouldn't be surprised. All the paint fading here, sun fading. All the panels aren't rotted out. There are some, there's some rotting that's going on, but all in all, pretty, pretty solid truck. So I don't think it spent too much time here in the, in the Midwest. Uh, it's just in, it's in great shape. Exterior as a whole, pretty decent. The thing that kind of looks at you and says, hey, I'm ruined is the tailgate. She's pretty well whammied. Whammy! But that's okay. I could find a used tailgate on Marketplace for a hundred bucks. Slap her on and be done with it. Came with the original wheels and tires. Set of four. I'll sell those, make some money back there. That toolbox in the back I'm going to be yanking out because I'm actually going to be replacing... I'm going to be moving everything from this bed into that one. Uh, and I have a toolbox back there. So I can make a couple hundred bucks there. That'll be good. The reason why I went with a 2003 was not necessarily just the year 2003, but I wanted somewhere in between an 03 and an 06. And the reason being is 03 is when the 5.9 engine had some upgrades to the injection system, uh, a little more reliable system. And basically the, the 5.9 was the last rendition of a Cummins engine that didn't have emissions control on it. There's no DPF, there's no EGR, you don't have to deal with any of that crap. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was pre-emissions so I didn't have to deal with the hassle of deleting or, or buying a truck that was already deleted, dealing with Ohio e-check with a deleted vehicle, blah, blah, blah. There's just nothing good about it. I've had a diesel pickup that was post emission and it was just a pain. I, I worried about it every day. It was a 6.4 also, so I kind of bought it and sold it pretty quick. I also think body style wise, it's one of my favorites. I mean, the brand new Rams are pretty good looking, but one, I can't afford them and two, Again, all the electronics and all that crap, I didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted something that was going to be mechanical and simple. I hope everything's okay, but also I really wish the siren would just go away. Interior is in great shape. Cloth seats, all still there. Uh, I never mentioned, there's 200,000 miles on this thing. Actually, I might have mentioned before, it's like 199, uh, just about to roll over, but Usually, nine times out of ten, by that point, the seats are blown out and the center console is just ripped to shreds. Dashboard's all there. It's uh, got a cover on it, but that's all well and good. I'm not mad about that. This is still in great shape. Seats are in great shape. I don't think those covers that were on it were the covers for the lifetime of the vehicle, but I would venture to guess that whoever the original owner was probably covered these right away because these are just in incredible shape for 21 years and 200,000 miles. So super happy about that. It's got cruise control, which is way beyond my typical 
form of luxury with trucks, which is great. Uh, I'll have to replace that radio. That thing's junk. That's been in there forever. That's an old gal. Power windows, power locks. That's another thing I usually don't have, so that's great. I went in here, ignore my coffee and water bottle. Uh, usually don't have a cup holder either, so that's great. Uh, ashtray. Yep, cigarettes are in there. Those aren't cool. Don't smoke, kids. The only person that looks cool while smoking cigarettes is J.B. Mooney. So, if you ain't J.B. Mooney, don't be smoking cigarettes or vaping. Back seat, I got my dog cover back here, but uh, same story with the seats. Great shape. I brought batteries because he said the batteries in it were dead because it's been sitting ever since he went back to the church. It didn't need batteries, just needed a three hour road trip and uh, they charge right up, so that's great. Another thing that I'm super excited for that I've never had before on any of my trucks is I parked this in my driveway last night with nothing underneath it. No drip pans or anything. Wanted to see where it was leaking. And I swear, God's honest truth, not a single drip. Not under any of the diff covers, not under the engine, not under the transmission, no leaks. Now, with all this being said, this truck, I've been looking, I've been looking at the market for a while. I didn't necessarily need one right now, but I've been keeping my eye out just to feel it out, see where it's at. This one popped up and uh, it was already listed at a good price. It said or best offer. So, you know, I inquired, how low are you willing to go? You know, I didn't want to didn't want to take the guy for ransom or anything, but it said or best offer. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Stop judging me! Anyway, I inquired about the price. He met me at a very, very reasonable price of $6,500. Don't tell me whether it's a good deal or it isn't. Don't tell me I robbed the guy. I don't care. I asked. He agreed. I know it's a good price. Okay. With that said, I was figuring on the way home, hey, teeter drive close because i'm probably gonna break down and nothing nothing no issues it it drove perfectly fine cruise control even worked are you kidding i've been screwed on a lot of deals i found some some gremlins with the amount of vehicles that i've purchased this one so far fingers crossed knock on wood it's a winner so plans with this here gal. I'll tell you one thing, first order of business is this. Perfect. I don't know what it is about Cummins guys and 6.0 Power Stroke guys and gals. What is it with these stupid exhaust tips? I don't understand it. Anyway, that was driving me nuts. So first mod to the truck, done. Speaking of exhaust, I have to say, maybe it's because it's an inline six. You kind of got it from my meme earlier. Something about being over 2000 RPM in this thing. The exhaust kind of sounds like an old Civic. I don't know what it is, it's just that that droney, annoying sound. Maybe it's me getting old. Maybe it's Maybelline. But a part of me, part of me kind of wants to put a muffler back on this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. I don't know. Cause it sounds good otherwise. Like at idle, anything under 2000 RPM sounds great. It's really, really cool sounding. The turbo sounds awesome. But yeah, over 2000, like on the highway, just just drony just i don't i don't know if i really like that but plans for the engine i have none we're gonna do maintenance uh make sure i asked about injectors he said he doesn't have any sort of receipt or history of because he gave me a stack of receipts for everything that he did to it he doesn't have any sort of maintenance history on the injectors and it is at two hundred thousand miles and i he bought it at 160 so it's probably do for injectors so i'm going to make sure that i'm giving it all the fuel additive and 
putting a really good fuel filter on there might help prolong, but I'll just kind of keep that in the back of my mind. Transmission was another thing that I was worried about. Shifts just fine. We'll keep an eye on that too. Whatever the tune is right now, I'll be sure to kind of put it as more of an economy if it isn't already and uh, crank it up to a towing type tune if I have to. So yeah, engine, no modifications planned. Paint, definitely going, there's you know a few rusty spots, nothing bad down here on the bed, that needs to be patched, and rockers. Cab corners are all there, but rockers are a little bit rotted out. But again, not too shabby. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna paint it the way that I like it. So we'll do a whole video on paint. I'll show you how I do it. And it's definitely your, your backyard type paint job. I'm no professional when it comes to that business. But I'm thinking put a, a lighter color up top and then all the trim, all the plastic trim and bumpers and the uh, lower quarter of the doors and bed doing uh, like a dark bronze like the new Rams have, like the expensive ones, and painting the wheels that same color. I think that'll look really good. I got some plans for off-road lights to help me with recoveries. That'll be nice. Throw a good radio in it, backup camera. Yeah, just little things here and there is really all I'm gonna do. I didn't buy this thing to be working on it every day. One. It's too new for me to stay interested in. I mean, I, I like the older stuff, but there are things that I would like to do to it just to make it mine, you know? So we'll, we'll do a few things here and there. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Did I make the right choice? Is this the answer to what I was looking for? If there was another truck that you had in mind for me, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts, but it's too late. <laughs> I'm excited for this thing. I'm gonna clean it up get all my crap from this bed into this one and we're going to use this thing it's going to be put to work on this channel i'm really excited for it but for now that's all i got for you so i will see you on the next one don't worry we got plenty coming up this is kind of a filler video right now because i got a lot a lot going on so do me a favor subscribe to the channel like the video share it follow me on instagram at knock ranch TikTok, at Knock Ranch, Facebook, at Knock Ranch, it's all the same. And with that, I will see you all in the next one, but do not forget, don't be afraid to grab that wrench, get after it.